Hello everyone, I am Dr. Srinath. I am an endocrinologist in Mangalore and uh, today is uh, we are talking about diabetes and why about diabetes is because this is a World Diabetes Day month. November 14th is celebrated as World Diabetes Day. Reason being that uh, November 14th along with Nehru's birthday is also Sir Banting's birthday. Sir Banting discovered insulin back in uh, 1921 and after that the management of diabetes has changed a lot. So uh, before type 1 diabetes was a death sentence and from there on a lot of changes have happened in the field of diabetes. So every year there is a theme uh, where we talk about diabetes. Uh, so this year theme is breaking the barriers. So a lot of uh, patients uh, have barriers uh, when it comes to diagnosis of diabetes, when it comes to management of diabetes. So many people don't know that they are diabetic. So uh, screening would help. So a lot of patients know that they are diabetic but they don't know what to do, what to take. So even if they are prescribed medicines, uh, there is a delay in starting the medication. So this is one barrier. Uh, sometimes uh, we as doctors uh, he are hesitant to start insulin in some people who need insulin. That is one more barrier. Sometimes a patient knows, doctors know, but the social support is poor, uh, there is no supporting team at home. So that is one more barrier and sometimes uh, logistic issues, financial issues could be a barrier. So this year theme is uh, breaking the barrier to have a better sugar control. So having said all these things, you should know basics of diabetes. So there are two types of diabetes, type 1 where uh, patients uh, require insulin from day 1. They are usually younger individuals, less than 30-40 uh, years and they don't respond to tablets at all. Then you have the type 2 which is the uh, common diabetes that we see almost 90-95% of the patients who have diabetes have type 2 which is in a way lucky because they can be managed with tablets only when the tablets fail uh, we give insulin. And sometimes we give insulin in acute situations. Suppose there's an infection, patient had a heart attack, patient is planned for surgery, we give it for a short time and stop. So next coming to uh, other types of diabetes. Other than these diabetes, there are gestational diabetes, which is diabetes during pregnancy, which goes off uh, after delivery. Then there is pancreatic diabetes, which is because of, uh, you know, insulin comes from pancreas. If the pancreas is not functioning, you have pancreatic diabetes. Then you have other uh, body mitochondrial diabetes, which are little rarer. Coming to symptoms, many people don't know that they have diabetes because they don't have symptoms. Uh, because almost 90% of them are uh, diagnosed only when they do a checkup. So uh, once a year checkup is important after 40 years. Uh, to rule out diabetes. The symptoms that they can come with is weight loss, they can come with in skin infection that doesn't heal, fungal infection, increased hunger, uh, increased appetite, increased urination, increased thirst. So these could be uh, the common symptoms in people who have symptoms but all may not have symptoms. Finally coming to the treatment part is you have to take your medications but more important is the lifestyle that is diet and exercise and many people what they do is once they are given medicines they uh, continue it for years together so you have to monitor so how your ch children go to school and they have uh, you know quarterly assessment exams so similarly you have to check your HbA1c once in three months so that it is well under control within seven so with that uh, I conclude Please take care of your diabetes. Your uh, visit to doctor is just once in three months, but the remaining 59 days or you know uh, 79 days, you are in charge. So please take care of it. Thank you.